Hi and welcome. I am Shavini Somwardhan Jalil, your English coach. In this video series, we will be learning how to communicate effectively in English in a way that gets results for your company and improves your self-confidence. If you are new and you are not that confident in your English language skills, don't worry. There are three advantages that you guys have over other professionals who want to improve their English. The first is that you guys work in an immersive environment and by immersive environment I mean that every activity in your work environment is conducted in English your bosses talk to each other in English your colleagues talk to each other in English meetings are conducted in English and of course you use English in your day-to-day -day assignments working in this type of environment helps you improve your English much faster compared to say someone who works in a government office the second advantage is that you guys are already very good at languages. If you are looking at me like, who me, I am not good at languages, well, I am talking about programming. While programming languages aren't the same as human languages, you can use the same skills that you use to become a great programmer to become a confident English speaker. How? We will get to that in the next few lessons. As for the third advantage, well, you guys are really smart, right? After all, that's why I hired you. In this first video lesson, we will learn how to quickly and effectively introduce yourself in a professional setting. So, if you've been to a few spoken English classes, or you've learned English at school or university, you might have been taught to introduce yourself like this. Hi, my name is Saman. My father's name is Kiriyappu. My mother's name is Manika. I live in Gedaravagi Gama. I have three sisters and a brother. While this might have been an okay introduction back then, this is not what is expected of you in a professional setting. In the workplace, what people care about is who and what you are, that is your name and your designation, how you fit into the environment, why are you here, and your experience. There are three phrases that you can use to express each one of these things. The first phrase is obviously, I am, generally. We use I am when we talk about our identity. I am Shavini, I am Sri Lankan, I am an engineer. Or our status. I am single, I am rich, I am married. Or our state of being. I am cold, I am happy, I am sad. So, you could use I am to state your name and your designation. Hi, I am Aruni, I am a PHP developer. Or I am a QA engineer. You could also state I am new to your current status if you think it's necessary. Next, we have I do. When I say I do, I mean I plus any verb in the present tense. I work, I handle, etc. You can use the I do form to express your role in the team or the company. For instance, I handle the design and the development of the user interface. Or, I work with overseas teams to maintain backend systems. The final phrase is I have. You can use I have to talk about your work experience. For instance, I have two years of experience in HTML5. So the format is I have the number of years of experience in XYZ field or technology or domain. If you are a new graduate and you don't have much experience, you can still use this format. Just remember to say hands on experience with instead of number of years in. Hands-on means that you have actively worked with the technology, not just studied it. You can also talk about your internships or relevant projects you completed at university. An easy way to do this is to use the phrase, I have worked. So, if you are talking about your internships, you could say, I have worked as an intern at XYZ company. Here, the format is, I have worked as the role at the place. If you are talking about a project you completed, you could say, I have worked on XYZ project at university. However, if the name of the project doesn't instantly make it clear to an outsider what exactly you are working on, don't use this format. Instead, you can use one of the other examples. You can also use I have to talk about your qualifications. For instance, I have a degree in computer science from the University of ABC. So, 
as you use these phrases to create your introduction you need to ask yourself these things is my introduction too long an effective three sentence introduction should take less than 30 seconds to read or speak does my introduction show me in the best possible light your introduction should highlight only your best points does my introduction answer the question of why are you here people listening to your introduction should be able to understand why you are present at this meeting or event for instance if your client is a banker and you say that you have experience in fintech the client understands why you have been called to this meeting without you having to say too much now it's your turn use these three phrases i am i do i have to create your three sentence introduction practice speaking it in front of a mirror then try to use it at meetings and other events thank you and i'll see you in the next lesson